Welcome! In this session, we will look at the daily huddle, or what we can sometimes call the Scrum meeting, what it is, how to conduct it, and its benefits. What is the daily huddle? It is a tool used in Lean methodology and serves the purpose of continuous improvement of your operations. It is first a daily meeting, done every day, no exception. Ideally, it should be done in the morning, so you can plan for the day. It is standing up with a team of 5 to 10 people. It should be kept short, 10 to 15 minutes, ideally. At the beginning, you may want to go up to 25 to 30 minutes, but keeping the objective of taking it down with practice. It is conducted in the workshop, the office, the gamba, meaning it should be done where the processes happen, to where the value is created. You should involve the team, define who is part of the team. You want to use visual data, figures and graphs on your operations and backing up your discussions. It is recommended to use a whiteboard as it is quite agile. You should designate a lead for the meeting. You may want to do it at the beginning, if that is your team but then taking turns involving each member to prepare and lead the meeting. They should get to a point where the meeting should be happening even if you're not here. What should that meeting include? Quickly review the previous day activity. What are the critical data you are following? Are they good or bad? If bad, what happened? and identify the problems. Discuss the plan for the upcoming day. Use your tag time to identify the demand and adjust if need be. Any special orders and how will you manage these? You can take a bit of time to review improvement projects that you may have implemented and drive some adjustments. That should be quick insights to avoid dragging the meeting for too long. If the problem is too large, take note of it and go to an A3 problem-solving format, using a Kanban board to keep track of your problems and A3 projects. You may identify new problems to be discussed and solved. Again, you may want to test a quick and obvious solution through a Kaizen team or take note of it and add it to your Kanban board of problems for later resolution. You can celebrate successes of the previous day. Maybe a Kaizen improvement which brought massive positive change to the company. And finally, other information of short-term basis. Here is a quick agenda for your daily huddle which you can adjust as you gain experience. How did we do yesterday? Any successes from yesterday, improvement done? Productivity, report on yesterday's productivity metrics, critical metrics. Any safety incidents, were there any? And what will be done? Any quality issues identified the previous day? Anything to help identify a problem to fix today? New problems identified for Kanban parking lot? Then, what is the game plan for today? Any open items from yesterday's meeting? Any new information provided with a short-term look? What are the daily priorities and objectives? What is the performance level, tag time, and resource allocation? 
any improvements to be conducted today? And finally, how can we improve our daily huddle? Make a quick round of reviews of the daily huddle to help measure the efficiency of the meeting. Here are some of the obvious benefits of the daily huddle. First, it allows for rapid fixes of issues. Not waiting a month, you identify problems and attend to them before they create defects in your products. Use it to resolve stocks. Ten brains are always better than one, which means that everyone's contribution will help resolve the problem identified. It aligns your team to the daily operations and objectives. What has to be done and how. Better and quickly implement Improvement Kata and Kaizen principles. Quick learning, use everyone's experience and build on it, expanding the knowledge threshold of the team. Open discussion with the team, reinforce cohesion and transparency. And finally, it creates a routine of daily information management and daily adjustment. When we talk about data, what data do we need to have? Of course, there is no one-size-fits-all. And you need to get your own critical indicators. But here are some tips. It is the responsibility of the lead to provide the data. Put them on the board, if you have a board. Update the graphs before the meeting. Basic KPIs of the operations, your most critical to quality indicators, which give you a sense of the performance of your operations. Should be linked to processes over a short period of time, day or week. They need to be consistent to monitor the evolution over a certain period of time. Of course, you want to find the right set of data, and you may want to adjust them from time to time until you find the right ones. But you should not change the type of indicators every day. You would lose consistency and would not be able to monitor anything. This data allow for visual review of the performance. And you get a data-driven discussion, and not an opinion-driven one. When planning for the day, what should you look at? First, you should look at the tag time for the day, the week, the month, and adjust your production accordingly. What is the expected demand today? What is the amount of work and expected issues? Anticipate capacity issues, problems to deliver, etc. So, how do you address problems in the daily huddle? First, you identify problems and improvement opportunities. You want to keep a list of all ongoing problems being worked on. Then, either you manage Kaizen initiatives, monitoring progress and learn from what you can try, or you develop A3 report sessions for more complex projects requiring in-depth analysis, for which you have to follow up on the PDCA cycle. But you need to keep in mind that this is not a fixed model to be used, and you need to improve it and adjust it with time. You own the process. You will deliberately test new things and identify 
what works and what doesn't. Take feedback, adjust, try other formats and other indicators and fine-tune it as you gain experience.